Good morning, everyone. Uh, and uh, happy Labor Day. I hope all is well with every one of you. There's a little bit of a line for ticketing. There does not seem to be any line to get in though. So security should be a breeze. And entry should be a breeze too. Now it wasn't expected to be too busy and last time I checked, everything had a five minute wait, except for Iron Gwazi, which had a 50 minute wait. Considering it is uh, about 11.20, 11 11.25, 11 uh, park opened up at least an hour ago. Yeah, I think it's good to assume that Iron Gwazi would definitely have a longer wait. I honestly believe that Iron Gwazi's 50 minute wait, actually it turned up to be 65, is a little bit inflated, but we shall see. Um, yeah, as you noticed, uh, I didn't bring the scooter with me. So I am, uh, my legs, muscles are burning already. So uh, yeah, should be a fun day. I, I thought I might come in here and get a quick run or two on Iron Bozzi and a few other rides. But from what it appears, <sighs> it's gonna be busy. Busier than what I thought it might be. Who knows? Every other ride appears to have only a five minute wait. But um, yeah, it, it, the parking lots look kind of crowded. Preferred parking, I think was kind of full. Uh, general parking was about a third full. Uh, it is estimated to be around 36, 37 percent capacity today. Uh oh, I think we're gonna hit that. Considering yesterday was close to 90 percent, I don't know. It was definitely red. So let's find out. Uh, a word of warning. Yeah, the whole front of the park is now got wait times over 30 minutes. So. Uh, holidays are not a good day to come. I'm free. I think I made a mistake, but we'll see. Some of them are in the water, some of them are right up at the edge. I think we're going to go ahead and take another trip through to Miami Reserve and head over to the train station and head over to Stanleyville to the back of the park where yeah hopefully the crowds are a little bit more lighter over there while everybody's up front here and we thought we came early enough but there's no one out playing and I don't see any movement inside but I do see their doors are open Again, it is a choice-based system here at Bush Gardens where the animals have a choice of what they want to do, if they want to interact with the guest or not. As I start recording, the lingo and his boy is gone in. I always get bad luck, except for that other time a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. 
Alrighty. Guess they figured it's too hot out. They're not gonna play around for us today. <laughs> they may have just went in to get their brother out. I wonder what he's waiting for. Usually just those three. Hey, Bolingo! No, over here. Okay, fine. That window. There's Bolingo over here. Enzy? No? Hello? Really? Okay. <laughs> and there goes Bolingo chasing after his boys. More stuff that they got covered up over here for Sin City Zombies. Should be a nice scare zone when it comes in. <laughs> huh. Big telephone bolts. Gotta love it. Uh, sounds like the train is coming. Let's see if we can make it. Penguins are not out. I don't even know where we station. We'll always see you right and wave goodbye to our station master. Bye. There's only like six people waving. <laughs> okay. We'll see her in 35 minutes. and gazelles are hiding in the shade back there and dispatches for cheetah hunt seem to be taking a long time first one post actually we see it is cheetah hunt cheetah has a night edit launch roller coaster with you to launch point that's taking zero to 60 miles per hour cheetah is also the longest ride in the park with about 4,300 feet of track And coming up on the left, you'll see one of the three entrances to the edge of Africa. The edge of Africa is home to Lion, Kainita, Tibbles, and more. And on the right, you'll see a white building. That is the Serengeti Overlook. The Serengeti Overlook is over for lunch and early dinner. The menu consists of pizza, chicken tenders, fries, and salad. And if you're 21 and up, they also have a bar. And our next ride is Kobus Curse. Kobus Curse is an elevator lift coaster. It is taking 80 feet up face to face with venomous. After the first initial drop, you start taking forwards, it'll take you backwards, it'll spin it around, it'll do all three, but it will never go upside down.
Greek goddess Montu. Montu gets his name after the Egyptian god of war, which is a man with a falcon head. Montu would take you 150 up in the air and bring you through seven different versions at 65 miles per hour. And as you see there right below the tracks, this is because Montu is an inverted roller coaster. So as you go through the seven different versions, your feet will dingle below. And we will be entering the belt shortly. Please remember to remain seated at all times, keeping all hands and feet inside the train. If you happen to drop anything, please do not jump off for it. Just remember where you drop the let myself or station until I can hit stop, and we will get someone to retrieve the item for you. For the big tan animals, those were eland antelope. Eland antelope are the largest species of animal that we have in the belt. They can wait to be a ton and jump about 10 feet high. And we have our grebe zebras on the left. Grebe zebra are the largest species of zebra that we have in the belt. Their stripes only go to their shoulders, leaving their bellies completely white. We also have our reticulated jacks. They can grow to be about 18 feet tall and run into speeds of 35 miles per hour. They are also one of the three animals that seem full color like me and you, so they can tell that we are riding in a green train. There may be one in the way, uh, in the track, but they're over there, over the hill. There's one up here. They can weigh to be about 6,000 pounds. And we do have a baby right here. I know his name is Biazi, which means potato. We also have our grant zebras on the left. Grant zebra are the smallest species of zebra they have in the belt. They are also the most taller grass because their stripes go all the way around their body. We have our sable antelope. Sable antelope travel hurts 15 to 20, with only one dominant female in every herd. They are also known to lay in a circle to be aware of their surroundings. We have our grand gazelles. Grand gazelles are cut to the top. The gazelles that you see in Athens, Nairobi Station. They travel in herds of 10 to 200. 
And we also have our water beast on the left. Water beast traveling herds of a million, which is called the Great Migration. Way over there under those two trees over there. And on the right, we have a redneck ostrich. Redneck ostrich grows to be about nine feet tall and weigh 330 pounds. Because they are so big, they cannot fly, but they can run up to speeds of 45 miles per hour. over there on this side Then, then it's probably worth it for a holiday. So, uh, so far Labor Day, it's crazy busy up front, and it's starting to get crazy busy back here in the back of the park. Uh, I don't know how much longer I'll be here. 
I thought I might just get in a couple of runs on Iron Gwazi, but with the wait time being like 65 minutes at 11.15, yeah. So I do have a 12.35 for Iron Gwazi, and it is 12.25 now. I thought I might take the train and hop over on some of these rides, but the train ride alone took quite a while. So I might be able to catch a ride on Shikra and then have to catch a train back to get over to Iron Razi. In the second row. So let's see how we go. And again, Falcon's Fury does not appear to be running today. Second row. The train came back just in time. So I guess I'm going to take the train back over to Nairobi and hop on Iron Razi and then see what the wait times are over there in the front of the park. Hopefully they move back here. I took the green train here, now taking the yellow train back. clearing out this area a little bit. Yeah, supposedly the new poster is gonna go right here in this area. So that's why they have the sky ride closed. Real close up to the cable, so. That's 
by earlier. They were not in the water. They're all hanging out in the back. And coming back out, they're still out there out in the back. Guys, it is cooler here in the water. Oh well. Hey, all you junkies out there. Um, got Malie over here. He's gonna be riding Iron Gwazi for the first time. And I'm having the pleasure of riding with the Virgin. Let's do this. <laughs> I had the pleasure of Cody not stapling me in this time. And any second now. And he didn't pass out. I heard him screaming the whole entire time. <laughs> yeah, he did good. Either I should follow my own advice or I should have uh, packed up the scooter. Um, my legs are already worn out, tired. It is very, very warm. I'm sweating up a storm. The lines are very long. So yeah, I did this so you didn't have to. Uh, this year we got the rotting pig speakeasy. <laughs> Get in, loser. We're going haunting. We gotta love it. stuff for this hollow scream. There's a little, there's this one. 
Bone pen. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. T shirts forty. Looks like a lot of the t shirts are forty bucks. Is that jersey again for the seventy? Would be nice if it was colder. And the people are still coming in. One thirty two. And they're still coming in. Oh, thank you for watching. Uh, yeah, I will be calling it a day. Uh, it is about 1.30 ish. Um, your rides are starting to get long for the wait and all. No real update on anything. Just wanted to visit the park on Labor Day and uh, so that way you guys don't have to and show you it might not be a good idea. Not with uh, um, the kids out of school and people off of work today on Labor Day. Stay home, labor free. Enjoy it. Until the next time, catch you later.